Hey everyone, this is Jesse with FarmingSeattle.com. Wanted to do a video on the uh, aquaponics bed, give a little update, um, put in some new raft beds, adjusted the uh, drain tube down there. And this is what it's doing now. Um, celery is pretty much dead. Strawberries have come back to life after the hard freeze and I kind of turned off the, uh, the bed. And then the new uh, deep water culture beds are running at, uh, running at speed and that drains down. Under here, connected with, I think it's a one inch PVC pipe. Um, I glued it just because it was having a lot of leaks and I didn't want to mess with it. I glued everything except for the uh, the top part that screws into the bulkhead which has some drips and stuff but overall not bad as you can see. Uh, so that drains down here into the bottom and looks like all the fish are right there in the corner. So it aerates the water constantly, kind of keeps the uh, this clean looks like it's not as dirty the pump and looks like the bell siphon's about to siphon right now uh, but just a couple of things in here I still have the lettuce some of them are let's see if I can get closer some of them are sprouting and they're in the back kind of a few small ones and there goes the bell siphon. Need to feed these guys. Um, the garlic chives are growing well. Um, this plastic probably isn't the best for it since it's kind of, it's just like a contractor's plastic. Uh, but even so, like everything's growing in there and it's keeping it a lot warmer. See that going. And this is holding up pretty well. The bell siphon is. No issues really. You can see the garlic up close. Um, I put some compost worms in here. Maybe I can find some. These are just red wriggler compost worms and some super reds. So it'll be interesting to see if their population increases or whatnot. Couldn't find them right there, but um, yeah. And I checked on the elderberry a while ago and it seems like the base is starting to root a little bit. Um, overall, not too bad. Um, so maybe in a couple weeks, they'll actually have roots on there um, for the elderberry. But I did find, I'll show you the other elderberry that I planted. And I took some hardwood cuttings. Um, something like this. It's about a pencil size or bigger. Um, and just planted that over the winter. And this is actually an elderberry sprouting from that. I just replanted it. And it's just under some... Um, some wood chips and some soil. So this is the stick that I have, if you can see it. And so hopefully this will start rooting down below and then eventually I'll come back and every spot where it has leaves and roots, I'll just create a cutting and a new plant and uh, then I'll have new, new elderberry plants. You know, we got hydrangeas here that are starting to leaf out. Um, I tried to plant these guys in the shade as much as possible just because last summer they were always wilting um, in the front yard and having problems, so I moved those. Planted some rosemary that I had um, in the greenhouse. It was not doing so well. I think it was probably getting too wet and maybe some mold issues or whatnot. You can see this one has slightly discolored leaves right there. Um, so we'll see if they do better planted. Um, 
with that I mean I have six or so rosemary plants so that should be plenty to propagate um, for all my needs and seaberry is new this year and they produce an orange berry and so hopefully they're spiking everything but um, hopefully this year we get some orange berries from those guys and yeah just other random stuff planted some grapes still need to check on uh, this carrot bed I'll probably leave it for another week or so until things heat up and then I'll plant some carrots under here hopefully everything is fried um, under this plastic and it's just sealed on each end so it's kind of like a greenhouse for the top layer of soil and got these new blackberries planted I think I planted about 30 plants or so over the weekend so spring is coming slowly now um, got all these Let's see here. All the uh, blackberries are putting out new, new growth. Um, hopefully these ones on the back end will grow a lot taller. I don't know why, but the ones in the front grew to about three feet. The ones in the back grew about a foot and a half or so. And let's see if I can do one more thing. The elderberries are getting their flowers already right there. So those on the elderberries will turn into flowers and hopefully something, um, hopefully something will, like a bee or something will get these flowers into berries. And so those are just covered over all of these elderberries, um, pretty much all of them. So last year I think I had a couple bunches of flowers. This year we should have a bunch more. Uh, so that's that's exciting and uh, yeah, so that's everything if you are interested in any plants um, I have plants for five dollars at farmingseattle.com um, Or compost worms starting at ten bucks uh, Just send me an email through that website and uh, come pick them up today. Thanks for watching